Yo, what's up, SMC Cribs? It's Kareem Shahab, about to show you my Fixie collection. This is my old pro model from Leader Bikes, the Pharaoh. It is one of the heaviest bikes to ever be produced, but I don't think a single one ever bent. Here we have the cameras that the early death pedal videos were filmed on. Canon GL2, both of them. This one's got a Mark 1 Century and that one's the Mark 2. I did get a tapeless setup recently. What are you gonna use them for? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not filming. I think that's a 28 stair that's at Georgia Tech where I went to grad school. We've gotten three section enders on that ledge. <laughs> <laughs> I dubbed it in, um, at the end of my raw edit, and then I unlucky it at the end of my hold fast edit, and then I lucky grinded it at the end of the first master bike video that's not on YouTube anymore. Fixed gear magazines here that you've never seen before. This one's the Death Pedal 2 issue. This stack is all magazines that I've been in. Actually, from like the middle up. <laughs> Below it's like cogs and loops and shit. These are like all rollerblading magazines. So they're a pretty good collection actually. Speak of the devil. Oh. <laughs> There's another good TRK shot, Kurt Walride. I only did like the last like little bit. <laughs> but it looks like I did the whole thing. This old leader catalog that I'm in. Pharaoh. This is the first rail I did, the drop rail cover of the BTI catalog. It looks like I'm feebling the rail, but I just touched my tire at the very top both the times I did it. Old Matt Lingo book. There's like so many typos in this. Copyright by the author of this book, ad name here. <laughs> <laughs> this is all like death pedal one years. Look at that. What pissed me off about this though is like this hill is like eight of these and he just shot the very top of it. <laughs> it just looks like I'm on like a little hill. But this thing's like a mountain. There weren't that many of these printed actually. I only have one copy. I don't think Tom or any of those other guys. He came with this poster. How sick is that? This is the last issue of Fixed Mag. So kind of cool that Tom's on the cover. You know, all these pictures from that tour. I shot this after the tour because I didn't have enough footage compared to the other guys. <laughs> I got the flu or something like at the beginning of the trip. I got really sick, so I was kind of knocked out. Yeah, I filmed everything. This is before we knew about viral infections and such. <laughs> I was putting the whole team at risk. <laughs> Here's one that you might think is cool. This is a pretty big uh, rollerblading magazine. All right. Oh, there we go. See, so I did my interview. This is a big deal for me because I've been in skate magazines before, but I'd never been asked to do like a proper interview. It's all the patents if you want to see them. Front row and center. Just flex on anyone that comes to my house. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the basement where the magic happens. I'm gonna take my elevator down. My legs are a little too long, so I gotta spread eagle my way down. <laughs> Later, losers. <laughs> Just got this from UPS today. This is Edgar Lopez's court tech. They beat the shit out of it. <laughs> and then they didn't even give it to him, they just sent it back to me. <laughs> this is probably my favorite bike in the collection. It's an original Gorilla Kilroy from the, this is one of the Italian built ones. And the way that you know is that the dropouts have these um, diamonds on them. And this frame is signed by all the original members of the Gorilla team. Ed Wonka, Mike Schmidt, and Tori Thornton. R.I.P. Hiff Widow, AKA Soil. I asked him to sign it and this is what he did. <laughs> One of my 3D printers. These are all my Mario Kart trophies. That's my copy of Melee that's signed by Hungrybox. It's a really half-assed autograph. Do you remember what those things were called, Zlog? Was it Pedal ID? Uh, this is a cool one, I keep this one on display. 
from Kyo. And then every fixed gear video that's ever been made. I used to really like Dilbert, but I think the guy is like a MAGA, like Trump guy now, so. City Fog, this one I got from Zlog. I've never actually watched it. Fast Friday, this is Seattle history. Zlog's in this for a second. This one's called Fiction. It's a Japanese one. I've actually never opened it. The one that started it all. Empire, NYC, sealed copy of Revival, no cassettes. Chris Monseca. I actually have a clip in this, even though we were beefing at the time. I went on a trip with him and Rocco to San Francisco, and the two of them were so annoying. And they were just like, they were like little, like, they were like high school boys, just like trying to do everything they could to piss me off the entire time. But we're good now. My videos. Stay strapped, gang signs, classic. I bought this to support Tom, unopened. He wouldn't sign it for me though. <laughs> Line of sight, Lucas Brunel, living right in LA. The area's kind of a cluster right now, but after I stopped loose nuts, I ordered a bunch of bike tools so that I could continue. <laughs> Old fast bars, brand new uncut. Those are my signature straps from black. Nobody bought them, but the K Rab straps. Right next to the hold fast, Tyler's hold fast. Pedal ID, so I can switch the risers and shit. The original prototype, pretty similar looks wise, but the Gia's obviously night and day. It's my old TRK. It actually was a really good bike at the time, but it just kind of, the Gia's were evolving so quickly at that time that like, you'd come out with something good and then a couple months later it'd just be old news. Just a million wheels and tires and all kinds of shit over there. I feel like there's probably some cool stuff back here. Let me show you. You ever seen one of these in packaging? It's a five gold top tube protector. I think people pay a lot of money for these now. Oh, here's something that you've probably never seen before. Is hey, log, do you remember the Surly Fixers? This is like a cassette ad adapter that you could put onto like, I don't know, spinnergy wheels and shit like that. It would convert your uh, cassette wheel into a fixed gear. So it's got the lock ring and the cog threads. Got two of these, Sadio Sprocket. Sadio Cog. It's my volume crawl that I can't get off. So it just lives there. And that is my Tomasini Prestige track frame. It's a vintage Italian hand-built track bike that I got. I bought it in Malaysia, probably like late 80s, early 90s. This is every sticker I've ever gotten, ever, in this bag. There's a lot of track bikes down here. Leader Kagero, Raleigh Rush Hour Pro. The hub that's on there is like this Italian dude sent, sent it to me. Some guy who machined this hub by himself. And one side was a Mike kind of slotted cog. And then the other side is a six bolt ISO cog that you could put on there. Old Leader 735, the original one. That's my Merck's carbon red bike. Next bike is my girl's bike. Next one over is a complete P-Fix. It's my J-Ball Cortec. And then the one after that is my basket bike. So I actually had two P-Fixes. And then when Leader came out with the Pharaoh, I sold the other P-Fix, which I kind of regretted just because it's a pretty special bike that Specialized kind of legitimized our sport by making. It was actually pretty revolutionary at the time to have a complete made by like a very legitimate bike company. And they were in just like regular ass bike stores too, which is crazy. Ta-da! This is the Selly San Marco Ed Wonka Concourse Saddle. Yeah, it's insane that they made this. All right, SMC, thanks for checking out my crib. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Peace.